What's up guys, muzzle loader elk season for 2021. You can't make this stuff up. I'm about to start bugling the roads the night before season and uh, flat tire. So flat tire happens, right? I'm changing the tire, get all the way done. I'm tightening the lug nuts once the tire's back dropped down on the ground and the bolts are making screeches as I'm tightening them. And a bull bugled back at the screech. I'm not kidding, it's crazy. So I located my first bugle for the year based off of my lug nuts screeching while fixing a flat tire on my truck. So what I'm trying to do this year is muzzle loader pistol. That's right, people. I hunted with this thing back in Wisconsin for whitetails. It's not easy. I believe my effective range will be about, you know, I'm trying to get them within 20, but I could probably shoot out to 30 yards with the thing. So not, <laughs> I have way more of an effective range with a bow, but uh, definitely want to try something new. Here's the muzzle loader pistol. Um, that is the CVA Optima V2. Um, freaking love the thing. Uh, with with any pistol, as you know, I also a revolver pistol hunt with a 44 mag quite a bit with the Burris scope on it. In Colorado, you can't have scopes on anything muzzleloader, so this is an iron sight muzzleloader handgun. The trigger is very important. The trigger on this thing is great. I'll be shooting a 270 grain, um, the Federal Borlock muzzleloader bullet uh, with about I think 75 grains of powder is when I'm loading into it. I'm shooting really good groups at the range. I was practicing shooting off the standing sticks. Um, so should be good to go. I at least know where one is based on this tire change here. You know what they say, everything happens for a reason. Let's get it. Woo, what an amazing first morning, a lot of action. Uh, he was at about 30 yards, staring straight at me. He's a really good bull, probably 310, 320. Um, big six by six, had five or six cows with him. Um, he didn't see what he heard. And if I would've had the muzzleloader rifle, I would've shot him at 30 yards with the muzzleloader pistol. I'll take a broadside shot, but not a frontal. Um, 
not mad at all. I didn't get it. I'm sticking sticking to my guns trying to get one with the muzzleloader pistol. Um, I've never been to this unit before. Uh, never set foot here for any reason whatsoever. When I come to new areas like this, I really like to um, just explore, get to know the area. So, came to a new trailhead. Um, I got the e-bike out. I'm going to kind of send it deep on these trails. All right, it's about 4 o'clock. Um, I found this trail. It's an old logging road that there's a gate on, and dirt bikes and e-bikes are allowed, and the whole side of this thing, the north-facing slope, I'm about halfway down it. I'm just going to keep bombing down this thing, and then as it gets dark, I'm going to call my way back. Either way, this is looking really good in here. There's only one truck at this trailhead. I don't know what that guy has. Bike, dirt bike, whatever, but this is man's long. I would say I'm four miles in right now. Oh, nine, nine miles? This thing goes in, so I won't be within nine miles of anybody except one person, which is the goal. So, little quiet cat's coming in handy. Let's go. Sleepy old bugle. So I went all the way up, nothing. Uh, I don't know where he went or if I was just hearing something or what, but that was a hike. And I'm gonna get on the bike and take the trail back. About to go for the evening in day four. Getting pretty tired to put the miles on today, man. They're not talking at all during the day. Uh, they aren't even really bugling that much in the morning. They're real quiet around here. I don't know if that's because there's so many mature bulls and they're just trying to keep their you know, different harems kind of to themselves or what, but they're quiet. I'm hoping the rut will get kicked off here and they'll start screaming. It'll make it a lot easier on me. Uh, the string of unluckiness continues, but we're in them. In them every day. Can't complain. Having a ton of fun. We've got two days left now. This was day six. Oh my gosh, this morning I got so close. Same bull as yesterday morning. Um, I found him out in the meadow before shooting light. Just kind of Stalked it behind him, stalked it behind him. They were in the open. I got within 100 yards, and I was just looking at the clock, looking at them, looking at the clock, looking at them. Ranging them 113, got a little closer, got within 100 again. I had five minutes left till shooting time, literally five. Five minutes. I could see perfectly fine, but I had five minutes left till legal shooting light, and they went up into the trees, so I couldn't see them anymore.
to see it end like that slowly, but he's down. I still can't believe it, man. Last day magic. Last day. I hunted six out of nine days of the season. Man, passed up on some bulls. Tried for the first six days with a muzzleloader pistol, which was, is what it is. <laughs> and it came together on the last day, unreal. I'll give you a quick replay of all this all went down. Came around the corner, right here. And there's elk right there in the trail. Cow just went that way. And then I could see the bull went that way. So I had my diaphragm in my mouth. Luckily I learned from my mistakes yesterday. I dropped my bipod because I had to get my muzzleloader off my shoulder. Got my muzzleloader off my shoulder. He headed down right next to that little tree. He went beyond that to the next little, little tree. And I cow called. I stepped right over here and right through the shooting lane offhand. I sent a shot. He was, he was perfectly broadside. I sent it basically right behind his shoulder. Um, and then I reloaded. There's the reload shell. Um, stepped forward a little bit. He ran down the trail. I cow called again. He stopped. I put another round into him. Okay, I get up to here. And I see him. He went, had went uphill. The last time I shot him was like right in here. He had went uphill and bedded right there he was bedded completely facing away from me so i had no shot at his vitals at all and i was like you know what i know better than to not get another bullet in him whenever i can so i was like but i'm gonna try to slink around and get a vital shot so i kept my barrel on him and i moved this way really softly sure enough as soon as i started to move he started to stand up as soon as he stood up i just put another bullet into him i think i hit him in the hind quarter luckily i did then i reload again right here and i start coming this way this is where the footage takes off from right here, where basically he's alive, and then I sneak up one more time and get another another round in him. So I haven't even walked up on him yet because after I put the finishing shot on him, I went to go get Danny. So it's gonna be my first time seeing it. Look at that, man! Woo wee! Just a little bull. Five by five. Thank you, buddy. And last day of the hunt, right there, September 19th. I passed on a lot of bulls early. September 19th. I was screwing around with that muzzleloader pistol for the first half of the hunt. Last night I was kicking myself because I didn't shoot at that shot I had at that nice bull. And it ended up working out. Last day of the hunt, it came together, so. Heck yeah. One thing I wanted to talk about, it's kind of cool, this little electric tape roll. I got this when I moved out west after graduating from the University of Wisconsin with Danny when we moved out to Sydney. And I've used this same electric tape roll only for putting tags on animals. And it's getting down there. And the day that this thing finally gets used up is going to be a pretty momentous occasion, but it's kind of cool. I just keep this in my hunting pack and only use it to put tags on. I do one wrap around each side of the tag each time, so I'm never using a crazy amount. I'd say it's about more than half done. She sounds like a freaking elf. I know. She's not careful, she's gonna call in another bull. <laughs> They'll think it's a little calf call. <laughs> oh, back in the truck. You know what they say? Six miles by e-bike beats six miles on foot. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, click subscribe. We'll catch you next time, guys.